Hey everyone, it's Lady Kaka Monomo One here today with something different than what I would usually review. You guys know obviously that I usually do doll reviews because lately there's not really that much um, in stores right now that I'm really interested in. I thought I would change it up a little bit and do a review on Teen Titans Go. I thought it'd be really cool and kind of a nice change to do like reviews on figures and stuff like that. If you guys would be interested in seeing stuff on like Teen Titans or Batman or something like that, or anything like comic book related, then you guys can tell me down in the comments. So today at Toys R Us it was Black Friday and I got a few Teen Titans things. I got a few more than this but I'm saving them for Christmas so I'm opening these for now. I also got decided to open up this Raven because um, I was going to leave her behind but she had like tape and stuff. I think she was either like opened in the store or someone returned her and I kind of felt bad for her. She was like the only one. So I decided to get her. Um, they were on sale. This was originally $24.99, which is way too expensive for like considering how small they are. Um, but it was on sale for like $12.47, which I thought was really good. And this Raven was originally like $14.99, I believe. I'm not so sure. But she was on sale for $7.77, which I thought was pretty good, along with the other figures that I got too. So yeah, but first let's open up these Teen Titans six pack. So in this six pack, you get all the Teen Titans, which consists of Raven, Beast Boy, Robin, Cyborg, Starfire, and of course, Silky, which is Starfire's little pet. And it says Teen Titans Go, and it's for ages four plus, DC Comics, deluxe six pack minifigures. So let's open up these Titans and give you a closer look. Here are all the Teen Titans and Silky out of the packaging. And I must say for being such tiny figures, they are really well painted and detailed. Here's Robin. Robin is slightly power mad, perfectionist leader of the group, whose main complaint is that the other Titans just won't do what he says. Cyborg is a laid back, half teen, half robot, who's more interested in pizza and video games than fighting crime. Beast Boy is Cyborg's best bud, a slightly dim but lovable loafer who transforms into all sorts of animals when he's not eating burritos and watching TV. Raven is the sarcastic deadpan demon girl who'd rather be left alone. Starfire is an alien struggling to fit in and learn the ways of Earth while driving Robin insane with unrequited puppy love. And last but not least is Silky. Silky was created by the villain Killer Moth to be used in an evil scheme. Larva M319 was rescued by the Titans and became Starfire's adorably gross pet Silky. Alright, that's the six pack of the figures. Now, let's open up this Raven toy. But first, let's take a look at this really cool packaging. Up here it says Teen Titans Go! Raven with enchanted spellbook and she has a feature action and glowing eyes. And on the back, it shows pictures of Robin, Cyborg, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Raven. It says Teen Titans Go! Raven. Raven is the sarcastic deadpan demon girl who'd rather be left alone. So let's open up Raven and see what she does. Here's the Raven toy and she's super cool. She does have really nice detail on her and it's really well molded and everything, and she has a fabric cape, which is non-removable. She also has little skull details on the bottom of her shoes. She has a button on her back to activate her little feature. Azeroth Metrion Synthos. So when you press the button, her arms lift up, and she also has points in her knees and arms to make the pose a little bit more dramatic. And I'm kind of disappointed because it said her eyes glow, and they are like translucent as if they were going to glow, but they don't. I guess like the batteries died or something. I don't know if you can replace them or not. I don't see any battery compartment, but that's okay. And um, yeah, she's really cool. She also comes with this really cool Ancient Legends book, which is seen in the Teen Titans Go cartoon. And on the back, she has a pretty, pretty Pegasus. And I think it's funny how they make her um, really into ponies and stuff in the show because the voice actor, Tara Strong, also does the voice of Twilight Sparkle in My Little Pony, so I thought that was kind of funny. And um, yeah. So tell me down in the comments, which version of the Teen Titans do you prefer? Teen Titans, the original ones, or Teen Titans Go? I definitely prefer the original Teen Titans, but I think Teen Titans Go is pretty cool too. And tell me in the comments which Teen Titan character is your favorite. My personal favorite has always been Starfire. I always thought she was really cool. And um, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys!